Hello strawberry flavored ice cream cones. I'm Winter and this is my ultra hardcore pet pet what? <laughs> my ultra flat core challenge. Hooray! We need to add oh wow, wow, wow. what's going on here? Oh my goodness, did those two villagers just kill a zombie on their own? Holy moly, what have we just what have we just witnessed? Those two guys are badasses! What do you say, Al? Oh, you're a, you're a wheat guy, I like wheat guys. It's a shame I don't have enough wheat for you, because I would have given it to you very gladly. Keep protecting your village. Uh, those nice uh, gentlemen here have uh, a good protector, guardian. Hey, stop staring at me. Always oh, see nice things, you know? Alright, let's leave without taking damage if possible. I see where well, two slimes are coming my way. There we go. Let's jump and away we go. That was pretty absolutely cool. And we're off. Which way am I going? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it right. I get it right. <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, wow. Uh, the, the badass villagers got even more people. Uh, people? Zombies? No, if, <laughs> if they got people it would be quite creepy. Oh, no, let's not think... Uh, let's not think of the... <laughs> uh, of what uh, what I just said would imply. Yeah, let's hope they... Don't... They are not cannibals too. Mm -hmm. Too many cannibals on my channel, that would not be great. Uh, also, if you... <laughs> Also, if you are completely missing the context, I'm probably saying very creepy things. Never mind. Hello. <laughs> I hope you're having a fine day. I hope you had a fine day and you have played plenty of 1.4.2. Because I definitely had lots of fun with it. Um, I promise I was not procrastinating. I was not... I, like... Uh, I was not... Uh, I'm not late with my ultra flat core video because I was playing 1.4.2 the entire day, honest. <laughs> no, I did enjoy it a bit, but actually I had uh, I had uh, a kind of very uh, uh, oh, village, very tempestive. Is that what I'm looking for? Cold. <laughs> I got a cold like the day right the day after 1.4.2 was out. <laughs> that did give me a bit of free time to enjoy it, even though I kept sneezing the entire time, but hey, <laughs> not complaining. Uh, I had lots of fun with it, yes I did. Uh, I enjoy pretty much every edition, well, most of those. Uh, oh, double smithies. Uh, yes, and with I uh, have an entire stack of iron ingots. Uh, do we need more? Nah, I don't need more. I wanna need more. Also, I think my sounds are a bit low. Could be. Hmm? There we go, much better. Just slightly. Actually, uh, give me a second. Ah, yeah, it was it was my my headphones volume, not Minecraft's. Sorry. Uh oh yo 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 yo. Too close. Go away. Right. Let's collect some wheat actually. I is there? Did I just see we? Uh, I oh, I see things get distracted by things and then I almost almost take damage. Did I see something in your didn't No, I imagined it. There's nothing in that house. <laughs> I need to stop doing embarrassing things while I'm recording because then I'm forced to upload them. Up upload them. Uh, right. Maybe it's better if I just leave. Do you sell anything? Yeah. I never get the gravel, guys. Ten blocks of gravel for three flints. No. I mean, if it was just like that, it would be awful. But they also they also want diamonds for uh, yeah no not diamonds emeralds for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was in the middle of seeing something. Oh yeah, uh, one point four point two. I enjoyed it. I like it. It's a it's an awesome update. Go play it. No, finish watching this video first, please. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, there's, I said I enjoyed most of the features they have added and the changes they have made. I especially love the new sounds. I'm a sound person. <laughs> but there's one thing 
it's like the main issue I have with Minecraft there is it is and I don't know if I'm quite the only one who thinks this I mean I've seen lots of uh, posts on reddit where people complain about exactly the same thing but you know reddit is that one place where you're never alone <laughs> there's always somebody who has thought the same thing as you before you still uh, you know, I mentioned I'm not that much of a builder. Uh, as a general rule, I enjoy only half of Minecraft, more obsidian. Uh, only the survival aspect of Minecraft. I don't care too much about the whole creative business of this game. Uh, th there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I it's just uh, you know the the way I like to play. Uh, I simply enjoy one thing more than the other, so that's it. It's not like uh, the creative mode of Minecraft has anything wrong, it doesn't. It's pretty cool, and yeah, it's just me. <laughs> it's not Minecraft, it's me. However, the... Uh, I said I only like the survival part of Minecraft, and yet I do not like it as much as I would love to. I have one giant issue with uh, the way Minecraft is uh, and this issue really bothers me and alters the way I play Minecraft a lot. Let's see if I can explain it. Minecraft is one particular game in that it does something that is unusual. It doesn't it has been done before by other kind of games and with different results. But still it is unusual in the aspect that uh, when you start playing Minecraft a new world, when you start a new world, a new save file, the difficulty is not uh, uh, very low first and very high towards the end, but it's the opposite. It's very hard the first and it's very easy later. As I mentioned, this is not something new. Other games do things uh, this way. And it's pretty common for games like Minecraft where you have to get one thing to get two other things. And with these two other things, you can get four other things. And so, of course, when you start at the beginning, you have nothing. So the game is very hard. But in the end, you have everything. And so the game is pretty easy. It's a, it's a kind of formula. It's been used before. It works or doesn't depending on the kind of game and who makes it and such uh, things as these. Do I have an issue with it? No, I don't. Uh, uh, not necessarily. Not uh, not with this kind of... Uh, how can I call it? <coughs> like, uh, uh, I don't know. A thing? <laughs> I don't have issues with this thing. Uh, I do have issues, however, with the length of this thing and with the fact that there's absolutely nothing difficult in the end. Pretty much what the... I guess I do have an issue with it. <laughs> uh, I am very current uh, <laughs> in my line of logic. What happens is, when you start a new world, the game is incredibly hard. You have nothing and you're just in this giant world that you know nothing of because it's completely randomly generated. You have nothing and you have to earn things and you have to fight mobs to get things, to get ores. But after the first tower, you have a full iron gear, you have a bow, and you have everything enchanted with a level 1 enchantment, so have, you have protection 1 on everything. Uh, you have a power 1 bow and a sharpness 1 sword. And after that, after that first hour of gameplay, there's nothing left to do. There's no mob that can kick your, uh, your ass once you're at that point in the game. There's... You suddenly are the god of the entire game. There's nothing that can take you down. It, the only challenge left is the Ender Dragon and that is a, a thing you do once and you, <laughs> you're like sad. There's... Ah... Minecraft is one of those games where I play for one hour say one hour or two and then when I reach that one point, that one point being full enchanted iron armor, when I reach that point I get bored, 
I delete my save, my save file, I start a new one, play for two hours, I get bored, delete it, and so on. This is because of what I mentioned before, that the first two hours, one, two hours, two if you're really unlucky, or you don't know the game, but once you know it, it's one hour or two, it's all, it's all the time it takes to get full iron armor enchanted, and after that uh, there's there's rain! Wow, we don't get rain very often in Ultra Flatcore now, do we? It's a shame I need to sleep, like, right now. Uh, I could keep running, but I'm not suicidal yet. Good night! And good morning! Poor rain has got to go, so I can see the sun and I know which way I'm supposed to go. There we are! Pretty cool. So yeah, I find it that only the first two hours of Minecraft are actually enjoyable, and after that I get bored. This is also why the reason I don't like playing on servers, besides the fact that I suck at building, but even if I... It just, it's just that once I open a server, I play for two hours and I get bored, and I can't delete the server because it's, <laughs> it's not my thing, so I just leave. Uh, it's actually worse on servers, because if there is at least, if it's not a complete PvP server, but it's uh, there's cooperation involved or something, uh, actually the moment I get on the server, everybody has already <laughs> has already accomplished everything that could be accomplished. They already have uh, grinders. They already have chests full of anything you may ever need, and they're willing to give them to you. And there's so there <laughs> actually there, there's not actually anything I have to accomplish. I, ah. When I when I mention this now, um, I'm saying it because when I first knew about the wither, I actually started laughing, and I found it incredibly hilarious because the one mob that is even stronger and more dangerous than the Ender Dragon, the strongest thing you ever you ever going to fight in the entire Minecraft game, is a mob that you have to create yourself. It's like they know that if players do not uh, force themselves to face some kind of challenge, they, then there is no challenge after offered by the game itself. You need to do it yourself. And it's what I do when I play Minecraft. Now you can see why every single Minecraft video on my channel is uh, ultra hardcore related. Because that mod is kind of it kind of solves all the issues I have with Minecraft as it is right now, because it makes the game so much more hard, so much harder. I mean, uh, without uh, adding blocks or removing things or generally village, originally changing mm, mm, things about Minecraft, it doesn't change anything. It's such a basic mod that you could even pretend that you're playing with it by just keeping track of all the damage you take uh, and, and when you notice that you are lo have lost uh, uh, a total of 10 hours of, of health you just kind of uh, you game over yourself and you delete your save file <laughs> and that, that uh, yeah another double smithy hooray let's see what's in here Ooh, so much bright it's Absolutely great because I need it, and I also have a stack of apples by now. Mm-hmm. So this is not to say that I don't like Minecraft. I do! It's a game I play almost daily, I like it that much. It's just that I would really, really, really enjoy if they added more things that made it uh, uh, more difficult. And not necessarily more difficult at the beginning, or at the beginning and at the end, but more things that are difficult towards the end, to give you actually a reason to craft yourself diamond armor, because as it is, diamond armor is almost useless. It, ah, it, it, you really have any everything you, are, you would ever want to have once you have just iron, full iron armor, that's all you need. Um, this is not before somebody misinterprets, misunderstands what I mean. This is not a rant. I, I, I said it, I like Minecraft. I just would enjoy many more things that would make it harder. Uh, I guess 
mob sweating armor kinda does that. It's a step in the right direction, but it's still definitely not quite exactly what I meant. So I'll try more wheat if you don't mind. Uh, slime, slimes everywhere. Pretty cool. Uh, yep, I guess it's lucid dreaming time. I mean, lucid dreaming talk time. <laughs> it's different. I have a full stack of wheat, so I guess I'll do buy wheat. Oh, you're a ooh, you're a chainmail guy. Uh, do I need it? I don't need it. Uh, a chainmail uh, helmet has exactly the same protection value of an iron helmet. Oh wow, hi! <laughs> Aren't you cute? Hi! Come here you, I'm so going to kill your face. Come here! Hi, are there dangerous things here? I hope not. I kinda wish to leave some more. If you don't mind. We, were we just started talking about uh, reality checks last time and to do reality checks while you're awake. Because by doing that, oh, I'm an idiot, I need to trade with first. Because doing that will trigger you to do a reality check in your dream. And as we've learned, doing a reality check in your dream is pretty much what will let you accomplish lucidity. But I did, I, did, I mentioned also that there are some issues with it that we need to clear up first. So, summarize. The concept is... Take the habit of doing a reality check every single time you see one or hear or experience any of your dream signs. Keep doing that for some days until it becomes a habit that you always do without having to uh, really think about it and put effort into remembering to doing it. To doing it. <laughs> and uh, once you've done that, Sooner or later, in one of your dreams, you will perform a reality check once you see one of your dream signs and you will become lucid and get in control of your dream. The things we're missing is, for example, uh, knowing a different kind of reality checks uh, because I mentioned the, I mentioned the pinching. Uh, pinching your arm is going to make you feel pain if you're not dreaming, but if you're dreaming, you're not going to feel pain. There are many other different kind of reality checks and they all take advantage of the fact that some things in dreams do not kind of work the same way they do in real life. Like pain, for example. Feeling pain in dreams is possible, but it's very difficult. Uh, I personally remember one single instance where I felt pain in one of my dreams and it was a really light, a soft kind of pain it was just uh, I, I uh, uh, something bit my finger and I felt uh, a bit of pain so uh, most people say that you can't feel pain in your dreams I felt it <laughs> so I can tell you that it's not true but it's incredibly rare uh, and most of the times you just do not feel pain not only that but in lucid dreams uh, uh, you're even less likely to feel pain because uh, you're in control of your dreams. So you're just going to be like, nope, no matter what happens to me, I'm not going to feel pain and it's gonna work. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Mm, yes, pain. In your dreams it's very hard to feel pain. So most, in most circumstances where you would feel pain, you're not a chain mail guy. You would not. So that's why pinching yourself on the arm usually works. It's a nicely reliable kind of reality check. Uh, what else is there? Um, I will tell you. Mirrors. Mirrors in dreams are incredibly, incredibly glitchy. <laughs> um, they have a weird characteristic. I actually don't know why, but I can confirm that this happens. Mirrors in dreams, uh, there are too many slimes here, are liquid. If you try to put your hand in a mirror in one of your dreams, it's just going to go through and it's gonna feel wet. It's weird, but that's what happens. 
So a reality check would be if you're in front of your mirror, you could try touching it. And if your hand goes through it, congratulations, you're dreaming. Of course, that is not a kind of reality check that you can easily do while uh, in... Uh, should I keep going for another day? Yeah, I'm going to keep going for an extra day. Hooray, extra long episode. Rendering and uploading this crap is going to take oh so long. But still. Uh, yeah, putting your hand in a mirror is not exactly the kind of reality check you can always do, no matter in what kind of circumstance you are in, because you do not always have a mirror with you. So it's just the kind of thing you could try... You, I don't know, you can try it out. It's actually pretty funny if you are already lucid and you you, uh, you are in the presence of a mirror, you can try entering it. They're pretty cool because you can all also use them to warp somewhere else by entering a mirror. That's uh, actually pretty fun. I suggest you try it if you ever get... Uh, you will get whenever you get uh, a lucid dream. Uh, more reality checks. Uh, let's see... Uh, oh yeah, the mirror! I, I mean, yeah, there's another thing you can do with the mirror. And that's actually the uh, obvious thing <laughs> that is look into it. Because not necessarily the reflection is going to show what it should. Most of the times, at least in my dreams, uh, mirrors look dirty. I, I can't actually see any kind of reflection in them. Uh, they look dirty, but there's nothing I can do to clean them. So that's another thing. Also, they... Is the sun that way? <laughs> yes, it is. There were buildings in my way. Um, you will probably, most likely, not see yourself the way you should. You could have, like, uh, hair. Your hair could be the wrong color. Or you may not see yourself at all. But in general, reflection in dreams is very <laughs> broken. <laughs> and, and that can be used, again, as a reality check. Alright, so I've told you, like, the, mo the most... Uh, um, uh, not useless, but the less, uh, uh, what should I say? It is incredibly reliable because mirrors in dreams are just that fucked up. But, <laughs> um, but, uh, as I mentioned, it's not, s looking in a mirror is not something you can always do. So it's difficult to take the habit of, well, you could take the habit of trying to stick your hand through a mirror every time you're in presence of one, but still, it's not something you can do every time you see a dream sign. So let's look for something instead that you can do every single time you see or hear or experience in any kind of way one of your dream signs and that is uh, also one of the most uh, well-known reality checks besides the pinching your arm one and that is num 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 <laughs> eating bread <laughs> no it's looking at your hands it's something you can always do because hopefully your hands are always attached to your wrists to the rest of your body. I sure hope they are. But why is it a reality check? Well, your hands sometimes, for some reasons, are not going to be quite the way they should in dreams. So you may find yourself with an extra finger or one finger may be missing. That's actually sounds kind of scary. <laughs> it's not. It's just the way you see them, actually. Um, or they may look uh, like they are of the wrong color, or have uh, things like lines or dots or, or anything weird on them, on the skin. So if anything is wrong with your hands, you are 100% sure that you're dreaming. Unless something very bad just happened to you, and I sure hope it doesn't. Uh, hands... Uh, I sincerely have no clue why they work this kind of weird way in dreams, but they do. Uh, so looking at your hands is a very, very reliable reality check that you can perform anywhere you are, and it doesn't attract attention too much. You can just quickly look at your hand, count your fingers, see that you have five, take a sigh of relief, <laughs> and keep going with your life without anybody, without anybody being none the wiser. Ooh, what else? The nose! This is one of the... Uh, another one... This is a... Uh, <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. This is a reality check that is quite... Uh, um, not the kind you can do without attracting attention. So you should... You shouldn't do this reality check in the presence of people. Uh, 
but it's very very reliable it's another one of those that it's very likely to show you exactly if you're dreaming or not without lying to you and that is holding your breath if you uh, if you close your nose with your fingers <laughs> with your hands and try breathing in dreams you will actually manage to breathe even though you should not hi <laughs> oh, this guy really wanted to give him to give me his diamonds. He was like just waiting for me. Hey, I have stuff I want to sell you. <laughs> uh, what else do you want to sell me? Ooh, cookies. Hmm, I would be interested in them, but I'm kind of saving up for other things. Yet I appreciate your concerns and your offer. I'm going to leave now. See ya another time. So yeah, if you try breathing, even in any kind of circumstance where you wouldn't be able to, like underwater. Uh, breathing underwater is another very reliable reality check because you will always be able to breathe underwater. In fact, chances are that if you've ever dreamt of drowning, uh, I hope you haven't, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> it's a kind of nightmare. It happens to many people to dream of, uh, of drowning. It has happened to me as well. But if you dream of drowning often, uh, you actually manage, do manage to breathe underwater and th that may make you lucid or it may not because if you're in the middle of a nightmare you may actually still remain scared if you, if you actually are breathing uh, things happen <laughs> still that's another kind of reality check and you should try it out so if you why don't you try it right now <laughs> unless you're like in, a, in an office or something try closing your nose and just breathing through it and if you do while you're dreaming, go out of your window and have some fun flying around. I mentioned that there were more issues with reality checks that we needed to fix. And one issue was to perform reality checks correctly. What does correctly mean? Uh, am I picking up the wheat? Uh, yes, I am. There is a wrong way to perform reality checks and a right way to perform them. And if you perform them the wrong way, it's going to be completely useless. Now, in lucid dreams, anything you want will happen. This is why you have limitless possibilities in dreams, you can do absolutely anything. It's because you it's something that your mind makes up, so you can do anything as long as you are ab able to imagine it. Now, what does it mean? It also means that you can uh, Mm, how should I put this? You also can do things that... Uh, um, say for example, I have mentioned that you cannot feel pain in your dreams, and yet it's actually kind of possible. So if you were... Oh, there's bread there that I'm interested in too. Say that you're in a lucid dream and for some reason you decide that you want to feel pain. Oh, there's another smithy here. You will. That's because, as I mentioned in dreams, you can do absolutely anything you want, and that includes feeling pain. If you decide that you want to feel pain, you're going to feel the sensation of pain. I can't uh, tell you if you're going to feel actual pain, or if you're just going to feel uh, the illusion of pain. I mentioned I only felt pain once in one of my dreams, and it was really something faint. Uh, it's been also a uh, long while ago, but still was not pain in it. I mean, if a dog was actually to bite my finger right now, I would feel 100 times more pain than I felt in that one dream. So I'm not even sure if that was pain at all. Uh, still, the point is that if you pinch yourself in one dream, you're going to either feel pain or feel the illusion of pain. So you're going to convince yourself that you felt pain if you have, if you, even if you didn't. That is a failed reality check. You may hold your breath in a in a dream, see, say that you go underwater and try breathing, and you kind of don't breathe, so you go back on the surface because you're like, oh shit, I'm not dreaming, so I should avoid drowning and I should go back on the surface. And actually, if you stood underwater in that dream, you would have noticed that you actually could breathe, and then your reality check kind of failed. Why does that happen? Uh, this is very, very, very important because if you get this wrong, your reality checks are always going to show you that you are in real life, that you're not dreaming when you actually are. The issue here is that whenever you perform a reality check in real life, 
you have, you have, you must sincerely wonder if you actually are dreaming or not. Say that now you pinch yourself, but you are absolutely convinced that you are not dreaming because does this feel like a dream? It does, and does it? So you pinch yourself, you feel pain, and you're like, well, I knew it, and you just keep going with your life. That is a wrong kind of reality check, and it's the kind of reality check that will make all of your efforts completely... Oh my goodness, um, no, 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 thank you. This is a horror village. It's going to make your efforts completely... There's a spider tracking me crap. Ah, useless. Are you up here? Nope, you're not. Crap, 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 sun, 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 sun. Let's try to reach that church without getting ourselves killed. Whenever, let me repeat this, whenever you perform a reality check, you have to sincerely wonder if you are dreaming and sincerely consider the chance that you actually may be dreaming. Because if you're sure that you are not dreaming, then even if you actually are, the reality check is going to confirm that you are not dreaming. So the reality check is going to fail, it's going to lie to you, it's going to do the opposite of what a reality check is supposed to do. So while we wait for sunset, uh, let's uh, uh, repeat this and clarify this one more time. Say that you try to put your hand inside a mirror, but you are convinced that you are not dreaming because everything you're feeling right now is feels absolutely real. Even if you're dreaming, your hand is going to find a solid surface, even if mirrors in dreams almost always uh, behave the wrong way and show wrong reflections and are behave as if they are solid like they should. This is because your mind makes it real. In dreams you dream what you want to dream and what you believe you are dreaming. So if you are absolutely convinced that you are not dreaming, the reality check is going to lie to you and show you that yeah, you are not dreaming. So keep going with your not lucid dream. This is very 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 important. I invite you to uh, check out on your own many new kinds of reality checks because there are many. Uh, ooh, another very reliable one. If you happen to have a watch, uh, it's um, uh, and it's a digital watch with the uh, numbers on it. Uh, uh, of course, watches have numbers on it. <laughs> if it's a digital kind of watch, uh, it's you can use it. Uh, to perform reality checks. Uh, look at it, look at the time, and if you see a weird time, like uh, 99, 68, 99 hours and 68 minutes, if you see an impossible kind of time, you are 100% sure that you're dreaming, unless your watch is incredibly badly broken. This happens because writings, and especially numbers in dreams, are unstable, and they, sh doesn't, they do not show what they're supposed to show. Another kind of reality check is if you look at a at a writing, you read something, it turned away, and you look you look at it again, you're going to read something something completely different, uh, because words, sentences, numbers in dreams are unstable, as I mentioned, and look at that poor villager, <laughs> and they're going to show a different thing or a wrong kind of thing every time you look at them. Oh, what was the saying? We're saying to check out on your own many ki different kind of reality checks. Choose the ones you like. Choose the ones that you will be able to perform when you see a specific dream sign, and take the habit of performing them every single time you see that dream sign. This is your ticket to lucid dreaming. Oh, I don't fall down. These poor villagers are all doomed. Thank you so much for watching. We will talk more about this because there's always more to talk about. Uh, I'd like to clarify a bit more, <coughs> talk a bit more about uh, reality checks, mention a couple more reality checks that you may be interested in. Ooh, jumping! Jumping in dreams, because gravity in dreams behaves weirdly, so if you try jumping and you start flying away, you're dreaming. <laughs> 
Uh, well, the more I talk about them and the more I, I come up with, so I think I'm going to just stop here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And I will see you in the next episode of Ultra Flat Core. If you want to see if I will find my 40 golden ingots like I want to. You have a good, awesome day and have many nice, happy, lucid dreams. Good night.